Hey everyone, Technoment here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you two different ways to update your iPhone software or the iOS update. So let's get started. The first method is going to be known as over the air update. It's going to be the most common way to update your iPhone. For this, you'll need a couple things here. First thing, you need to be connected to the internet through either Wi-Fi, which is most recommended, or your cellular data, as long as you have a strong cellular data. Another thing you want to also verify is in the settings, go to general and then click on iPhone storage. You need to have some storage available for it to download the update before you can install it. I recommend having at least 10 gigs of free storage available where this will tell you how much storage you have. As you can see here, I over have 93 gigs of storage. So you want to make sure this is more than 10 or so. Now, the next thing you want to also kind of ensure that your iPhone has enough charge Generally, I recommend 50% or more charge, if not connected to a charger during the update so it doesn't fail. Now, once you have those things in line, next thing you want to do is do the actual update by going to your settings, going to general, and then the software update. Now, this is what it's going to tell you if there is even an update available. Now, if there is, it's going to list that update, give you some information, and then an option here to update now, or you can update it later. Now, once you're ready to update, you simply click on update now and it will begin the process. Again, make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged if not connected to a charger. Now, we're going to move on to the second way to update for some reason if you don't see the update here. Now, for the second method, you'll need either a MacBook or a PC. Any computer will do as well. So, we're going to show you how to do it in a MacBook, which is going to be the same step you're going to follow on another PC as well. So, on a newer MacBook, you can open up Finder here, and it's going to open up like this, and then you're going to connect your iPhone to your computer. So you're going to take your iPhone just like you would to charge it, but instead connect one end to your phone and then the other end to your uh, MacBook or your PC, either using a, a USB-C cable or the USB-C. And now, once you connect it, it will automatically detect if there is an update that needs to happen. You can click on Install and start updating simple as that now if this doesn't menu doesn't pop up you might have to change like trust the phone here if a pop-up will come up to trust or you can click on this location here for your phone name and from there on you'll get this menu here which allow you will show you an option to check for updates so you can click on check update right here and then as you can see here this is the current update now if there is an update available it will be available and you can do the update from there now, if you have a PC, of course, there's no Finder app there. So you need to go ahead and download this other app known as iTunes, which is a free app. So you're going to go ahead to any browser on your PC or computer and download the same app called iTunes, which is going to work exactly the same way as the Finder is where once you connect it, it's going to have a menu like this and you can check for update and install any update as well so that's how you can go ahead and do an update using two different methods for your iphone i hope this video was helpful if so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone and other ios devices we'll see you guys next time